Right guys, hello, another video for you, Star Wars Squadrons on PC. I'm going to do this video again, hopefully get better audio quality, I'll use the right mic this time. It's a tutorial, kind of important, you can understand what I'm saying. But as promised, custom sounds for the game for you to have R2-D2. You might have seen the previous videos I've done. I'm talking to the astromech droid, give him voice commands, he does what I tell him to do, and he acknowledges it. But it's just like I'm talking to R2-D2, because it has R2-D2's voice. It's very cool, it's very immersive, it's very useful. When you think about it, it's actually very Star Wars. Whichever the movies you love the most, whether it's Luke Skywalker talking to R2-D2 or Poe Dameron, whatever his name is, talking to BB-8, that's what you do when you're a Starfighter pilot. You talk to your little buddy, you talk to your droid in the back. So that's what you'll be able to do after watching this tutorial. It is very, very cool. Uh, the developers themselves for the game, before it was even released, they talked about this. They mentioned voice attack and voice commands. They said how cool it was. So I kind of expected it to be baits in the game or they give us a voice attack profile, but that didn't happen. So for you to do this, it is going to be a little bit of effort, a little bit of time and a little bit of money. We do need to get some software to get it done. The good news is it's pretty cheap and we can use it with other applications and games. So we get value for money out of it. It's not too bad. So I don't want the video to go on too long. We will crack on and talk about this core software that you need other than the game itself, obviously. So this is voice attack. This is the voice recognition software it is in the steam sale at the moment in just over two hours it's going to go back to the normal price of nine pounds so even at full price that's pretty cheap it's very versatile it's very useful software so it's not too bad so it's got very positive reviews across the board pretty much anyone who uses it loves it it does take a little bit of setting up a little bit of time you'll feel like a weirdo a bit of a lemon sat on your own talking to yourself because you need to train it to your voice it will give you pages, sentences, phrases to read. The more you do it, the more time you put into it, the more you get back out of it, the better it will understand you. Once you've set it up, what we're going to do is import profiles into it, whether you make your own or you download them or you buy packs, as we're going to do for this tutorial. Um, those profiles give it phrases that it's listening for. So as an example here on the screenshot, if I say map, it will hear that and it will automatically do left control and M as a keyboard shortcut, because apparently for that game, that's what it does to bring up the map. Now it's important that I point out, whichever game you're trying to do a, a voice command for, it must have a keyboard shortcut associated with that action. I'll tell you now in Star Wars Squadrons, the developers haven't done that. If you go into the game, into the controls, into the keyboard bindings, you'll notice there's some blanks under the actions. You will need to fill those in. It doesn't really matter which key you push, as long as they're unique. We're going to go see the guys at HCS Voice Packs, and what they do is their software will scan the config file, which has all those key bindings, and it will know automatically what we picked. So that's that's pretty useful. I'm not going to tell you how to set up Voice Attack because I don't need to. We just mentioned the guys at HCS Voice Packs. So all the links will be in the description of the video. You can come to their website, go to the tutorial tab. You see they've got their own YouTube channel, and they've already done videos on this: how to set up your microphones, how to set up Voice Attack, basics. If voice attack doesn't hear you so really really helpful they've got the support forum tab so where it says use our discord channel if you actually click on discord that's a link so you can get to their discord server and they will give you support when you've bought their packs i know because i've talked to them they're very very helpful guys uh, they got the game when we got it you'd think they got it early but no these guys stayed up really late through the night trying to get this stuff and have made it better and better over time so yes the packs cost money but it's well worth paying them than us faffing around ourselves so we thank them for all they do but what do they do so what is a voice pack well we mentioned that the voice attack software needs profiles it needs these phrases and the keyboard shortcuts to go with it so these guys do the geek black magic for us their software goes a little bit further um, it's very very clever stuff so we thank them for doing that but what they also do is find sci-fi acting legends, coerce them, coax them into recording studio, give them a script and say, please read all this stuff out and make our game sound really, really cool. And when you're done, we'll throw a load of money at you. Uh, so, yeah, they've, they've actually got some pretty famous people to do voice packs for some of the games that they've covered. So let's just quickly stop in Elite Dangerous because you might want to play this game too. We can see some of the voice packs are different prices. Uh, there's quite a few here voiced by different actors there's some really big names in here so William Shatner was Captain Kirk Marina Sirtis that's Counselor Troy from Star Trek we've got Brent Spiner that's Commander Data John Delancey was Q uh, Hattie Hayridge that's the voice of Holly the computer in Red Dwarf if you're English like me you should know 
what Red Dwarf is. Very, very, very funny show. There's even some YouTube personalities as well. Obsidian Ant is well known for covering uh, Elite Dangerous and his packs only five pound at the moment. So yeah, you don't have to spend crazy money. These packs are really, really useful. It is really, really helpful, especially for Elite Dangerous because there's a lot of commands, there's a lot of keys. If you've got a VR headset on, how I play the game, I can't see the keyboard. I've got HOTAS, but the buttons on my joystick base, they're kind of awkward to do in VR. So for me to be able to speak what I want done and for that to be done and then for these voice actors to talk to me for my favourite shows just makes it really immersive and really, really helpful. It's really, really cool. So what I will point out, the HCS software for this game, for Elite Dangerous, can fill in those keyboard blanks. It can't do it for Star Wars Squadron. So I hate to repeat myself, but you will need to go into Star Wars Squadrons and set up those missing keys for the actions in the game. Once you've done that, the HCS software can take over and know what you've bound. So let's go into the Star Wars Squadrons tab so we can see the voice packs here. So there's not as many at the moment. I've got Alex. That's what I bought. So it's a good couple of months ago or more. It's £10. That might sound like a lot, but we're going to see in a minute just how much effort they've put into setting this up. There's a lot of commands. They have updated the pack. The game has been updated and they sent me an email and they said, yeah, uninstall it. We've got a new one. Download it. Install that. It's made, uh, we've made the pack better because they've made the game better. It hasn't cost me any extra money, so you can't really fault them. I would rather pay them £10 to do all this work than me try and make my own profile. All we'll point out is pick out whichever one you think will sound best. If you want Legion, that's Michael Dawn, or his war from Star Trek. If he starts saying, today is a good day to die... Well, that's the Star Trek quote. Star Wars, Star Trek shouldn't really mix, in my opinion. But if that's what you want, get it. End of the day, we're going to use some custom files. So they will all sound like R2-D2 anyway. So if you see one is cheaper than another when you're buying them, and you just want to use custom files, just get whichever one is cheaper. So add it to the cart, buy it. You'll get your emails through, and that will give you a uh, license key. That's unique to you. And a download for the actual software itself. So when you install the software, You'll have to put in your license key, let it do its thing. The next thing we're going to do is open up Voice Attack itself. Now, you should have set this up already and trained it to your voice. Once you open it, it will come up with a little confirmation window saying it wants to import a profile. So say yes, because that's HCS trying to import the profile into Voice Attack for Star Wars Squadrons. And we definitely want it to do that. So let's just quickly do some basics for Voice Attack to help you guys out. Should you see a red microphone icon in the top right hand corner that means your microphone's either muted or there's a more serious issue and it just can't hear you so it's not going to work you're going to have to do some troubleshooting find out what's wrong there is a headset there which has got a circle with a red cross for it that's telling me it's not listening well i don't want it to listen to me i'm talking to you I'm, i don't want the software to listen to what i'm saying so i can do a keyboard shortcut alt and f2 to toggle that on and off or just click that icon and then the software will start trying to recognize what I'm saying. Uh, so we've got keyboard, mouse, and the gamepad. That's just to keyboard shortcuts and mouse shortcuts and um, gamepad shortcuts, whether we want those on, on or off. Don't want to make this video too long. There's plenty of other videos on voice attack. We'll just quickly show the voice attack options, the spanner. So as we go in there, I'm just going to show so recognition, Windows speech recording device. I'm actually going to use my webcam, and that is located on top of my monitor, it is nowhere near my mouth that is the microphone that the software is listening to and you'll find that works fine ideally you want the microphone near your face so i like to use the one on my rift s headset at the moment i've got a headset on with a microphone ideally use that but if all you've got is headphones and a mic and a webcam you can still do that you still get away with that setup so we'll press ok the next thing we need to do is actually select the profile for the game that we're going to play this software needs to be open in the background some people do get a little bit confused over there so i said we can use this in other games i play dcs world as well we can see some other profiles so vicon pro that's a module i bought for dcs world i mentioned in my other videos about bailey a guy who makes profiles for free for dcs world so that's for the tomcat but we're worried about doing star wars squadrons we can see there's these hcs ones so event for event horizon is for star citizen if you play that game and you bought a pack for that you want to use that profile. We're doing Star Wars Squadron, so we're going to do Galaxy. That's SWS. Singularity is for Elite Dangerous. So I've got a couple of packs for Elite Dangerous. We want to play that. We use that profile. Unity is NMS, No Man's Sky. So we'll make sure we have got 
Galaxy selected for Star Wars Squadrons. The next thing I need to do is open up the HCS customizer. Now there's two ways to do this. I can do it by a voice command. So I would need to have it start listening to me. You say protocol override, customize my settings. It's a bit of a mouthful, not that easy to remember. But what I can easily remember is I look at my keyboard. There's the Windows key. I'm going to push left alt, which is one side of it. I'm going to hold that down, do left control the other side of it, and left shift. So left alt, left control, left shift all together. Now I'm going to press enter. Those four buttons together has opened up the HCS customizer. So let's let's go into crew tweaks the crew, open up the custom folders. Now in the description for the video, you'll find a mega link and it will give you this zip file. These are the, it says profile sounds. So use WinZip or 7-Zip, whatever you want to use, open it up and you'll see these are the folders and I've put the R2D2 files in there. It's all done for you. When you look at what you have, if you open it up, you'll have a couple of files in there which are just generic droid sounds the HCS guys have given you. They can't give you R2D2 because they're selling the pack. They can't sell you Star Wars stuff. It's Disney copyrighted material. But we can use our own custom sound so if you want to use what i've given you that's great but if you want to use your own i don't know maybe you want to use cylon sounds from battlestar galactica have it say by your commands when you talk to it that would be pretty cool so if you can get hold of those mp3 files you can put them in there but we'll just show we've got the info button the i button we'll just click on that and it's telling us so the worried folder for sounds used when bad things are happening, like deploying countermeasures because a missile has been shot at us. So what I've done, I've looked for samples of R2-D2 where you sound a little bit worried, a little bit scared, and put those into that folder. So for each of those, we now know what they're for. I tried to find the best, the cleanest sounds that I could of R2-D2 without the music in the background from the movies to try and make it sound as professional as possible. So you guys do what you want to do. This is how we get the custom sounds into the voice pack. So we can apply that. We are done with the custom files, but we can do a little bit more customization. The next thing we're going to do is go into the voice trigger editor. The first place we stop is crew command roster. So I've bought Alex, but we can add in a custom crew member to use these custom sounds. Now, custom name, yours will say custom. I've changed mine to R2 space D2, because that's easy for me to remember. Now it's R2D2. So we change the custom name, we'll click apply, and I'll show you how to change between your two crewmen to get the different sounds uh, in a little bit. We're just going to do a little bit more customization. We've got the chit chat tab there. So under main, it's saying enable or disable chit chat. These are the voice commands that we give to enable or disable it. So we click on the eye again, and it's telling me that these following phrases will enable or disable chit chat. So what is chit chat? Well, let's go into the SWS tab. So it's six lines these phrases when i say them the software recognize it and then r2d2 is going to talk back to me or alex whichever you're using in the pack so for the first one it normally says this is the way that's from the mandalorian yeah that's star wars but i've changed it so it says are you okay back there r2 it's a line from one of the films they've got um i have a bad feeling about this you'll see that stuff's in brackets and it all looks a little bit confusing and using semicolons so we'll explain that uh, to help you guys out because we're going to go into the SW squadrons tab and this is where the phrases are this is the meat and bones of it the uh, the voice commands we want to use so if you want to know what you've got to say to get things done this is really the best place to come they do give you a cheat sheet but if you come here it really is the best way because there are a lot of different combinations so I'll click on that eye again we see there's 24 different voice triggers just to deploy countermeasures like <laughs> they've earned their 10 pound they put a lot of work in, so we can say countermeasures, deploy countermeasures, activate countermeasures. But yeah, you know, maybe I don't want to say that. Maybe I want to put in my own custom commands. So we've got boost engines there. So we'll just take that out. When we click on I, so it says activate boost, boost engine, speed boost. Any three of those phrases it will recognize. But I want something a little bit different. So let's put in punch it after the semicolon that's what separates the phrases so i'll apply that click on the info again and now we can see punch it is a recognized phrase to trigger the command we'll go into power management so we've got focus shields front rear 
will balance them. So it says focus shields front. Well, I'm pretty sure I remember from the movie they say set deflectors double front. That's the official line. So if that's what you want, you can put that in. So we can change that. We've got the semicolon. Now, you might get a little bit confused because it says focus in brackets. Well, that's an optional word we could say before front. So we want to set shields or deflectors front. So there's the word front. Then the brackets after that, each of those words is whichever one we want to choose. So we can say front deflector or we can say front shield. It's really up to you and you can make changes. If it's a little bit confusing, you don't understand what's going on, don't worry about it. You don't need to change it. It's just showing you there are customization options available to us all. What I want to do is stop into the weapons tab because this is important. We can say dumb fire left auxiliary, dumb fire right auxiliary, or just fire left auxiliary, fire right auxiliary. They are the basic commands. We have customization to our starfighter. We have to choose the loadout. What is left auxiliary, right? What is right auxiliary? Now, if we want to be a little bit more flash and say you know, fire missile, we actually need to tell it whether missile is left or right auxiliary. So I'll link the video that I did previously and show how I did this. It's just a voice command. Loadout commands on. When you say that, you'll hear a beep and then you tell it what you've got where. So I would say shields on left, missile on right. Maybe it's a little bit different. Missiles on left, torpedo on right. You'll get the beep back when it's heard and confirmed. Then you can say loadout commands off. Then it stops listening. Those um, settings are set and we can start using a little bit more, you know, jazz to our command. So if I want to activate repair, just click on I to see what the phrases are. So activate repair, begin repair, fix me up, fix my ship, fix the ship. 25 different options. Maybe I want something different. Maybe I want to say, uh, see what you can do back there R2. That's a line for one of one of the movies. If that's what you want, you can add the stuff in. But try to keep them reasonably short because it is a fast paced game. So I understand why the guys have uh, chosen the commands they have. You want it you know, pretty short and punchy. So now you guys know how you can customize things around a little bit. You can apply that. We don't want to go too crazy with changes. So we're done. We've set up our custom name. We now got R2D2, but I need to show you how to switch between the two crew members. It now says you now have two crew members aboard. So I need to have the software listen to me change voice pack crewman r2d2 change voice pack to crewman alex change voice pack to crewman r2d2 now, hopefully you could hear the difference if you bought legion then you would say change to voice pack crewman legion whichever one you've bought but we want r2d2 uh, so now you know so hopefully you can have some fun with it guys uh, have a great day, have a great evening, whatever you choose to do after watching this. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.